All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on my page. We are playing Starfield, and we are trying to leave this, uh, I guess, get to the top of this place. But there is uh, a lot of stuff, and I don't know that I need to pick up every bit of it, to be honest with you. All right, uh, so I just done, looked through my inventory there right quick for a minute to see if uh, there's anything I needed to take out or move. Uh, pencils, like all this stuff, like I just dropped every bit of this, I think. Yeah, I think I just dropped every bit of that. So, let's uh, go on. I picked a different weapon here, just to see if it's any different. Alright, let's go. Let's go up here. Here, maybe. Is there anything up in here I need? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. There's nothing I need in there. Let's open the door. Coffee. I could take some coffee. Home cup. What do I give you? See, I, I can't wait till I get to the point where I realize. I need all this shit or not. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of oh God. whatever is inside, provided you have some. God, never bird. Hell yeah. Slaughtered that some bitch. Some bitch. What is that? I guess we both come up the ladder, didn't we? Hero. I think I need none of that. I'm going to probably... Oh, help back. What's this? You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? What's your problem, Barrett, with Barrett anyway? I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. <laughs> We're taking that ship. There's no treasure on the ship. Cut your losses before people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. 
persuade a person you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the choice. Fails, but more points you earn when you succeed. You'll have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. If you want to trade ship, that sounds good to me. The frontier price. I just made him past your entire crew. Do you really want to try your luck against me? So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? They aren't? You sure? I guess we'll try this one. You're willing to give up the ship? Just like that? Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. Oh, hey. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Flash travel to your ship. Press LB to open the scanner. Oh, well, that's pretty neat, ain't it? Oh, shit. I jumped too high. I wonder if there's some shit over here I might want, though. Helium dispenser. Anything over here I want? Probably not. Alright, let's go. I wonder how I get there. We'll see here. Fast travel. Fast travel to the subject location. Yes! To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Research lab. All right, got it. <clears throat> Figured it out. Gravity jump. Grab jump, or they will call it. I feel like I'd have hit that planet that was right in front of me. Maybe. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. Who knows? Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Okay. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Well, aren't you just a sweetheart? Where's New Atlantis at? Boom. All right, 
let's get off his regular boats. if you need to offload some cargo. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Okay. Ten four. Let me go look around here. And here you... Probably just go straight and do story missions for a while, I think. Let's get on this thing over here and get where we're going. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm in control. Let's go. Well, I was thinking there. This is for you. Am I going the right way? Hang on. Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, tricked you. Tricked you there, robot. They will be waiting. Well, thank you for telling me that. Captain, oh, water up. everyone will. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I had to get my water. Get my water. I'm suggesting it's so outlandish. Who is this? We appear to have a visitor. Yes, you do. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Yay. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Powered attack burger asked me to deliver the artifact. Sounds good. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? Shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. 
fair. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, God, <clears throat> so. expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's well. see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them. Took it a while for the reaction, didn't it? The subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves. Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? Why is everybody oh, outside Walter. of where we're at well, always smarter? Why does answers, everybody always it be insist that they're smarter now than we are? It? What if they're dumber take than we away are? From the moment, but what if we we're the smart ones? Our new friend here? What? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Hey, hey, check me out. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked you. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. <clears throat> second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I, I really want to listen. I could have seen this for myself. I don't. It's hard to judge. Don't listen to every one of these conversations. But Both we'll you see. and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. 
did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Take okay. care of yourself. Probably enough of that. I don't know if I really need to talk to her. What can I help you with? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something don't else? Take. Swiped any new religious texts? Ha ha. I don't have much time for that kind of thing anymore. So much to do around here, you know? I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. 